Hey guys, Andy here. So this is just a really quick run through what I think are some really quite handy, useful apps. I'm not going into detail at all. I'm going to fly through them. It won't be a very long video, hopefully. Um, and we're going to kick things off with LaunchBoard, which I have done a review for before. It is the only app that I'm going to talk about today that I have. So you may have heard about it. But basically, LaunchBoard is this widget here on the home screen or this icon in the dock at the bottom. And um, all it does is if I want to open Hangouts, I press H, there's Hangouts. Or if I'm home, it's there. If I want, if I'm on the Play Store, P, there's the Play Store. Um, if I tap the basically open the app, the app is the keyboard. I think up here I've got basically recently uh, recently used apps, but you can have it show favorites. You can have it showing contacts as well. So if you want to contact Pizza, you press P and it would have the apps with P and it would have the contacts with P above him. Um, so for me, it's really, it's just changed how I use my phone. I don't use my app drawer anymore. It's just, for me, it's a much quicker way of getting to the apps that I need. Um, next we have Firefox Screenshot which is under S for screenshot in this case. There it is. And basically what all this is, is just kind of a way of organizing your screenshots. So I've got a couple of different collections, health and Strava, and then anything else is in unsorted. So if we're going to Strava, any screenshots, I have put, it doesn't automatically go in there. I have to tell it, move this into Strava. So if we're going to the, the collection, and let's just say I wanted to move that somewhere. I hold it down, I select, and those are my two, or there's some predefined ones. Um, whoopsie daisy. So you can move around simply. Another really clever thing. So this screenshot was just kind of an, some news about an Aldi near me. So if I come back out to the beginning and I type in Aldi, there's a screenshot. I think that's really clever. So obviously it's doing character recognition of your screenshots and it makes, lets you search the text in your screenshots. That could be really handy if you'd like, I mean, well, I don't know, just, it means I will screenshot more knowing that I can find stuff quite easily from it. So that is a Firefox screenshot, free in the Play Store. Um, Clipboard is the next one. Again, just another handy, really handy app, uh, if I can find it. There it is, Clipboard. So basically anything I copy, like text-wise, just gets stored in Clipboard. So I can copy multiple things. They're gonna appear in a list here. So let's, for example, so let's go to Facebook again, just as a, so if I copy that text, you see at the bottom, new node has been created. Oh, I missed it. We go back to Clipboard and there it appears at the top. And then if I wanted to use that text, I go into it, copy to Clipboard and close, and it's stored in my clipboard, I can go somewhere and paste it. It was really handy this morning for me. I mean, to be fair, it would have just been stored in the clipboard anyway, but um, I did a tweet and I actually wanted to put it on Instagram as well. And I copied it and then I didn't have to worry about if I copied anything else, it was stored in the list there. Um, the next app is BP Me, which is BP's app for filling up the fuel stations. I think most of the fuel stations these days, not just BP, so SO and people like that, Texco, whatever. I think they have all of their own apps. We can have a quick look at the BP one um, because actually it makes life so much easier when you fill up with petrol. So I mainly use the BP app because there is a BP station just a mile from where I live. So uh, as you pull into the station, get the app opened, the BP one is protected via a fingerprint, which makes it nice and easy to log in, not having to remember pin numbers and things. It will then detect, hopefully, the, uh, the petrol station that you're nearby. You just select which pump you're at. You check your details. You confirm your details. And then you wait for them. I think it still goes to the people inside the, uh, the petrol station to unlock your pump as it would any other way. So, then you do the incredibly exciting bit of just filling up the car. The expensive bit and then basically when you're done it does the payment for you you've already registered your uh, bank details or your your credit card previously it just pays and it gives you a notification saying you've paid and off you go we're moving on to my sort of late my well the weather app that i now use and it's called appy weather and I guess I like it just because it's really nicely presented, but I also really like how it does things by the hour. So if we go into, so if we go into a day, 
And on the bottom, we get all the different sort of options of things we can look at, and there's quite a lot of them. So at this point, we're looking at temperature. We can see how it changes through the day in quite a nice visual way. Precipitation, so we can see there's a very faint chance of some rain, very faint. I particularly like cloud cover as well. So you can see that it's gonna be quite a nice clear day tomorrow. Um, and it's just generally a very nicely presented application, whoopsie. It is free, but if you want the widget and um, to get rid of the adverts, it's a subscription of 3 dollars a year. So I've done it, well, I've done it for a year so far, I suppose, I've paid literally this morning, I think, because I do like the look of the app and it is, it is quite a handy app. Um, and you should always support your devs. The widget that I have at the moment is here, look, which gives me today's weather and also the next few days. So yeah, just really nicely presented, really well done. Based off Dark Sky, I think it says it somewhere. Uh, the next app is What Three Words, which basically is um, a different way of locating people or giving your location. If someone says, where are you? You might be able to describe, oh, I'm down so-and-so street, I'm at so-and-so shop. Um, but there are times where that's probably not that easy. If you've broken down in the middle of nowhere, you might not even know what road you're on. I mean, I guess you can look it up on Google Maps. You can even send a screenshot or send it to someone, but that's not always all that accurate. Um, and basically what these this app does, or what these people have designed is, the entire world is cut down into sort of three square meter chunks. And each three square meters has three words that were designated to that square. So for example, we can search places. So let's go to Buckingham Palace. And then where I might actually want to meet somebody would be perhaps on the street there. Look. So that is Sailor Bravo Claps. Now, I know it sounds a bit funny and a bit silly, but actually, why not? Sa Sailor Bravo Claps. You send somebody, oh, I'm at Sailor Bravo Claps. They put it in. They know exactly where you are within like three meters, which is really quite clever and quite handy. Um, so it could be at a big event, could be even in a, you know, you might be at Wembley watching a game. Oh, where are you guys? I can't see you. And they can, someone can send you the three words. You can look at, you can see exactly where they are. How handy is that? Um, you can select to navigate here, which you can then choose if you want Uber or to just use Maps Navigation. You can share it, so you can send somebody, there we go, to over, oh. So let's find, let's find me second sim. And that gets sent through to them. They can then open it, they don't have to have the app. They can open it in the web browser version. And again, it shows that exact location. And I'm fairly sure, I forget where it is, but they can then open, oh, it's at the bottom, sorry. So they can share and navigate or start, just like you have the option to in the app. So they can just hit that and it would give them the same sort of options as you had in the app. So yeah, I just think that's really could be, could be really handy. And I guess I'm putting this app in this video because it's only useful if people know what else you're talking about. If you say, yeah, I'm at Sailor Bravo Claps or whatever it was, they're going to go, what? But apparently, like police forces and ambulance forces and things now use this as well. So if you did have a bit of an emergency, you could just use this. So it just seems like something worth having on your phone. Um, and then finally, we have a different uh, spin on things. We're going to look at Just Watch. So quite often, somebody tells me about a TV show um, that they say, yeah, you need to watch this. It's really good. And you're thinking, well, what on earth? Is it on Netflix? Is it on Amazon? Is it on iPlayer? Is it on, who knows? Um, this app will tell you. So let's say we're gonna look for Justified, one of my favorite TV shows. And I actually do not have a clue what service it might be on. Um, so you can only buy it, but from Amazon, from Google, from Apple, from the Sky stuff. So basically you can buy it from loads of different places. Uh, Let's think, what else? So let's go with an easier one. Orange is the new black, because I know that's going to be on a streaming service. It tells you also, you might have seen sort of the latest episodes. So you can see you can stream it on Netflix, but you can also buy six seasons of it on all these different, well, five seasons on Google. Three seasons on PlayStation, one on, hmm. um, And you get some information about the show as well. 
So it's just a really handy app, I think. Like say for when someone says, to you, oh, you need to watch so-and-so, and you're thinking, yeah, how? Just watch, we'll tell you how, hopefully, maybe. Some app, some some shows, not all of them. Like we couldn't watch Justify. Um, but there you go. So I don't know, hopefully there's been an app in there that you've kind of gone, oh yeah, that's quite cool, I'll install it. If so, let me know in the comments which one you have installed. If you already had some installed, let me know in the comments as well. Um, if you have ideas for apps that I should put into the next video, put that in the comments too. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully, loads of comments for me to read, and I will read them all, I promise. So, uh, but that's it for now. I'll catch you all again soon. Well done for making it all the way to the end of the video. Please do give it a thumbs up and um, leave a comment as well. I promise I'll read every single comment on all of my videos, so do leave a comment too. If you haven't already, subscribe, click that bell icon to make sure you're notified anytime I upload something new. Perhaps most importantly, just share my videos, be it social media, be it forums, just put them on, put them online for people to watch. If you want to go that one step further, there are links in the video description to my Patreon and also buy me a coffee. Just a few extra pound a month would help me make more videos. Um, also, of course, don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. I'll uh, see you all in the next one.